2023 election we hold in Southeast, Senator Abaribe to Simeon Ekba and unknown gunmen. Abaribe charged governors from the Southeast to work together to end the unrest in the region rather than working as individuals. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. May God bless you all. 2023 election we hold in Southeast region. Senator Ayin Naya Abaribe to Simeon Ekba and unknown gunmen. Abaribe have charged governors from the Southeast region to work together to end the unrest in the region rather than working as individuals. Simeon Ekba, the self acclaimed disciple of Namde Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, and some unknown gunmen threatening that there will be no election in the Southeast, have been given a warning. The lawmaker representing Abia South Senatorial District, Enyin Naya Abaribe, on Wednesday, warned the individuals that election will hold in the Southeast region. This is as Ekba and his group have been threatening residents of the region, saying that election will not hold in the Southeast. Abaribe charged governors from the Southeast to work together to end the unrest in the region rather than working as individuals. Speaking on Channel's TV, he said, the 2023 general elections will be free and fair, with Bivars adding that the result will show who the people trust or not. He said, for some time, we have not held that all the governors have met. They are the chief security officers of the state. When they, came to, when they come together and take a stand, everyone will follow, but each of them seems to want to do their own thing separately, and it's not working because this is a regional issue. For example, if you pursue them in Imo states, they will extend themselves to Anambra. If you pursue them in Anambra, they will run to Eboin, and push them in Enugu, they will run to Eboin, they will run to Enugu. So every one of us must come together and work and work to bring peace to the Igbo, Igbo land. But this will not affect the election. I tell you, you will see that the elections in the Southeast will be free and fair. And with Beavers, the result will show who the people trust or not. Abaribe claimed that external forces are responsible for insecurity in the Southeast with aim of stopping people from exercising their franchise freely and fairly. He noted that he visited the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdi Kano, in the custody of the Department of State Services, and Kano revealed that there is no seat at home in the region. He said, all that is going on is that some miscreants of violence and destructions have taken over and committed crimes, and when they do that, they now say it is this group or that group. This is what we are facing in the Southeast region, he said. So guys, what's your take concerning this? The lawmaker representing Abia South, Senator, Senatorial Districts, Enyinaya Abaribe, on Wednesday warned the individuals that election we hold in the Southeast region. This is as Ikba and his group have been threatening residents of the region, saying that election will not hold in the Southeast. Abaribe charged governors from the Southeast to work together to end the unrest in the region rather than working as individuals. Speaking on Channel's TV, he said the 2023 general election will be free and fair, with Beavers adding that the results will show who the people trust or not. He said, for some time, we have not held that all the governors have met. They are the chief security officers of their states. When they come together and take a stand, everyone will follow. But each of them seems to want to do their own thing separately. And it's not working because this is a regional issue. For example, if you pursue them in Imo state, they, they extend themselves to Anambra. 
If you pursue them in Anambra, they run to Eboi. You push them in Eboi, they run to Enugu. So every one of us must come together and work, and work to bring peace to Igbo land. But this will not affect the election. I tell you, you will see that the elections in the Southeast will bring, will be free and fair, and with diverse, the results will show who, whom the people trust or not. Abari Bey claimed that external forces are responsible for insecurity in the Southeast region with aim of stopping people from exercising their franchise freely and fairly. He noted that he visited the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Haipob Namde Kano, in the course study of the Department of State Services, DSS, and Kano reviewed that there is no seat at home in the region. He said, all that is going on is that some miscreants of violence and destruction have taken over and committed crimes, and when they do that, they now say, it is this group or that group. Something is going on in our region, he said. Okay? Well, thank God that you people are realizing this. I think the best thing to go about this is come together. Igbo leaders have to come together because this thing is a... Uh, is affecting all the region. This is not the issue, just like what he said. An individual will say, release Nam the canoe to me, and I will stand as your team. This is not the issue. First of all, they should stand and ask the Nigerian government to release the IPOP leader. That is first step. Yes, they should stand on it. This man does not have any business in the custody, Nigerian DSS custody, and for that, this man should be released. Because the government of the day, they don't, they don't even care about the happenings in the Southeast region. And one will now ask, are you sure they don't have hands in what is going on? I beg my people, make a drop-on for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.